Hello and welcome. This is Daniel or Dan. You may know me as Dr. Lima from my other channel, and if not, well, welcome to this channel. Uh, this is my first official video for this tutorial type channel. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm not uh, an expert by any means, um, but I will I will try and help people out if if they want some help. Just uh, email me, and I'll try and make a video like this for you. And, and explain your problem away, hopefully. Anyway, uh, this is in response to a question I got from Hazza123 or something like that about effects and he didn't know how, he or she, didn't know how to um, use effects or, or wanted effects explained. Um, I'm not sure exactly what you're after there but you know I'll, I'll sort of, I'll take you through it from the beginning if you're a beginner. Um, and hopefully you'll you'll gain something out of this. If not, well, I've wasted your time, and uh, I'll feel bad about that for a while. But I'll get over it. Anyway, this is the uh, first thing we want to do. We want to apply effect to to a clip. Where you go to our timeline, select the clip that we would like, and highlight it. Uh, and that's this clip in this case. And uh, then we go to the editing tab, which is on your right there, and up here we've got four tabs and of course we go to video effects tab to apply our video effects now each effect here and you can get more of these on the web you can download them um, I won't go through every one but they they all do different things but they it's like a soundboard you know you know you know one of them you're gonna know them all um, they all work in a similar way you select the effect that you want and you will see a visual representation of that on on your left on your screen and um, you can adjust your parameters. Your parameters are always down here of your effects in the same spot for every one. Like if we go to electricity, for example, that's going to be there as well. You've got your different parameters. So it's, it's always a similar thing. Um, certain effects like this one, where, where it's not the whole clip being affected, but there's an element that's been introduced into the clip, you'll see a, a little yellow ball thingy and uh, you can click and drag that and that will move your effect to wherever you want it and the purpose of this, of this will stick it on his head. Uh, you want to adjust the trajectory of that or anything you feel like adjusting. Check if it's here and in this case it is. It's uh, rotate. We'll be able to move that. As you can see I've adjusted that from straight to sideways and we'll keep that like that and say we want that uh, and we want to lock that in will always click apply and that will go ahead and render whatever effect that we've done and apply that. You'll see down here it's rendering. Depending on the speed of your computer that's going to vary. You might want to go get a coffee for example if you're on an early iMac or something like that. Uh, this is a G4 Quicksilver so it's a, a little faster. Not much though. Anyway that's done rendering and as you can see go to the start of that click Dr. Lemur. Dr. Lemur. Dr. Lemur said yeah. It's very quick. Brisbane. Whoa. Out of control. Okay, so that's that. Um, you may want to add another effect to this clip. Um, and you can do that as you can add as many as you want on the top of this. So we've got one there and we might want to go to mirror. We want might want to mirror that and create some kind of Dalantan electrified Dalantan Yoda or whatever this is, so we'll do that and uh, have him speaking like that we'll apply that and you'll see that it'll add that to the mix and you can just go on indefinitely and affect your clip so he's a bit sort of, we might want to adjust the saturation which is like the amount of colour uh, we'll bring up the colour a bit and just make him look a bit freaky and um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. Like I'm not really doing anything. But you just this is to get the idea. You do that, apply that, and y as you can see, you can just keep applying more and more effects to the s to your same clip, and uh, you'll end up with the the result until you get the result that you want. So that's important to know that you can layer them. Dr. Lemur. Dr. Lemur. There. Okay. Um. That's pretty much it in terms of effects. Uh, my advice is to just nut around with them and uh, 
and play with your parameters and like if you don't know what brightness and contrast is you know you're in trouble um, you'd think because most people know that but if you don't know what something is just play with it and you can see that you know just play with it until it suits you know you can't damage anything by just playing around with it so unless you apply it it hasn't done anything that you it's just you having to play so just mess with it until you like it and uh that way you sort of learn what each effect does even if you don't know what everything means so it's not the end of the earth if you don't understand what's going on one last important thing to mention is this effect in effect out thing I'll adjust my parameters to something ridiculous and effect in is really like um, at what moment in your clip like two seconds in in this case the effect is going to take place and you know five seconds in it's going to fade out again so here you can see a visual of that that it sort of comes in and goes out and you can adjust that with those things so again just have a play just with the video effects also um, just with the effect in and the effect out generally uh, if you're just applying just the one effect to the whole clip keep them on nothing and that will that will apply it to the the full clip that's what I usually do I don't I don't usually come in at a certain time and go out but um that's usually like that by default anyway it's applying the your effect to the whole clip um yeah I won't I won't harp on too much longer I don't want this video getting too long that's really your basics of effects and I mean I really haven't told you much other than just have a play but um, if you've gleaned anything from this well good uh, any more questions send them to me on the email and um, I'll help you out with those oh one last thing uh, someone else did ask me something about exporting stuff to YouTube I'll cover that quickly now um, you finished a clip clips in the, in the timeline there uh, you want to export for use on YouTube so we'll go file ex export and here um, you'll see that the CD-ROM quality I think I've mentioned this in another video too but I'll, I'll re-mention it for that person um, the CD-ROM quality setting is the best one for YouTube uh, if you wanted to go to the 30 frames per second and, and make it extra good um, you could go to expert settings and set that specifically and set your resolution specifically but if you if you don't really know anything about that and you don't want to go and muck with it this CD-ROM setting is fine for YouTube just click share on that and uh, it, make a name or whatever click save and that will go and compress that movie and you can upload that file no dramas um, yeah that's about all I'll catch you guys on the next one of these that I do if you're still watching and that's pretty much it. See you later.